Unit 6, Lesson 9, The Distributive Property, Part 1. Number 1. Select all the expressions that represent the area of the large outer triangle. I selected A, 5 times 2 plus 4. I selected C, 5 times 2 plus 5 times 4. And I selected F, 5 times 6. So let's look at A, 2 plus 4. That's 6. 5 times 6 is 30. C. 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times 4 is 20. 10 plus 20 is 30. Let's look at F. 5 times 6 is 30. Number 2. Draw and label diagrams that show these two methods for calculating 19 times 50. A. First find 10 times 50 and then add 9 times 50. In my diagram, I have two rectangles. One rectangle is 10 by 50, and the other rectangle is 9 by 50. We're still on A. 10 times 50 is 500. 9 times 50 is 450. 500 plus 450 is 950. B. First find 20 times 50, and then take away 50. In my diagram, I have a rectangle that's 20 by 50 and 20 times 50 is 1,000. On the left side of rectangle B, I drew a fine line to represent one unit, and one times 50 is 50. We're gonna shave off that section that's worth 50. 1,000 minus 50 equals 950. Number three, complete each calculation using the distributive property. A, 98 times 24. We can look at 98 times 24 as 100 minus 2 times 24. 100 times 24 equals 2,400. 2 times 24 equals 48. So 2,400 minus 48 equals 2,352. So 98 times 24 would equal 2,352. B. 21 times 15. We could look at 21 times 15 as 20 plus 1 times 15. And 20 times 15 equals 300. 1 times 15 equals 15. 300 plus 15 equals 315. So 21 times 15 would equal 315. C. 51 hundredths times 40. We can look at 51 hundredths times 40 as 5 tenths plus 1 hundredth times 40. And 5 tenths times 40 equals 20. And 1 hundredth times 40 equals 40 hundredths. 20 plus 40 hundredths equals 20 and 40 hundredths or 20 and 4 tenths. So 51 hundredths times 40 equals 20 and 4 tenths. Number four, a group of eight friends go to the movies. A bag of popcorn costs $2.99. How much will it cost to get one bag of popcorn for each friend? Explain how you can calculate this amount mentally. $2.99 is $3 minus a penny. So multiply eight friends by $3 and take away a penny per friend. So eight times three equals 24 or eight friends times three dollars equals twenty-four dollars and then take away one penny for each friend. That's eight friends times one penny. So we need to take away eight pennies. Twenty-four dollars minus eight pennies equals twenty-three dollars and ninety-two cents. Altogether, for eight bags of popcorn, it would cost twenty-three dollars and ninety-two cents. Number five. A. On graph paper, draw diagrams of A plus A plus A plus A and 4A when A is 1, when A is 2, and when A is 3. What do you notice? When A is worth 1, A plus A plus A plus A is represented by the four red boxes. That equals four units. And 4A is represented by a green rectangle that contains four boxes or four units. When A is worth two, A plus A plus A plus A is represented by four rectangles 
with two units inside each rectangle for a total of eight. And 4a is represented by the green rectangle, also a total of eight. When a is worth three, a plus a plus a plus a is represented by four rectangles, each rectangle representing three units for a total of 12 units. And 4a is represented by the green rectangle, totaling 12 units. So what do I notice? I notice that a plus a plus a plus a is equal to 4a. B. Do a plus a plus a plus a and 4a have the same value for any value of a? Explain how you know. Yes, 4a equals a plus a plus a plus a. And the proof is in the work that we just did for a. Number 6. 120% of x is equal to 78. A. Write an equation that shows the relationship of 120% x and 78. 1 and 2 tenths x equals 78 or 120 hundredths x equals 78 or 12 tenths x equals 78. B. Use your equation to find x. Show your reasoning. I'm going to use 12 tenths x equals 78. 78 divided by 12 tenths equals x. 78 times the reciprocal of 12 tenths is 78 times 10 twelfths. And 78 times 10 twelfths equals 780 over 12. 780 divided by 12 equals 65. So x equals 65. Number 7. Kieran's aunt is 17 years older than Kieran. A. How old will Kieran's aunt be when Kieran is 15 years old? 15 plus 17 equals 32. Kieran's aunt would be 32 years old. When Kieran's 30 years old, Kieran's aunt would be 30 plus 17 or 47 years old. When Kieran's X years old, Kieran's aunt would be X plus 17 or x plus 17 years old. B. How old would Kieran be when his aunt is 60 years old? Kieran would be 43 years old when his aunt is 60 years old because 60 minus 17 is 43. Congratulations, you've completed Unit 6, Lesson 9, The Distributive Property, Part 1. Here's your opportunity to show your appreciation Hit that subscribe button in the middle and visit Patreon on the left. What are you waiting for? Hurry, hit it.